Thanks, baby. Oh, you're live? Yeah. It just went live. <laughs> hey, guys, what's uh, happening? Yeah. So today, not only are we just going to talk about our normal chat, we're going to talk about worm castings. Yeah. You can see these are organic worm castings that I got from Soto Cat Mania that she sent us. So, um, and I myself do not know a lot about worm castings, but um, I figured it would be a good time for hey. Tiffany and some other. Oh my no, good lord! <laughs> and some other people that do um, know about Are worm castings me? that can help educate me in the chat. How does that sound? Yeah. What? Uh oh. That must have been why that piece was on the floor. Is it okay? Yeah, yeah let him let him suck on it now. I know shenanigans, more shenanigans, always shenanigans, right? <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> oh my gosh. So I'm a little late today because we were short people, so I was actually help um helping the operators. Oh, I got something in my eye. I was actually feeding doors um, for my lead. He was um, operating a saw and I was feeding the doors in the machine for him. So, yeah. I did that the last, oh, three or four hours of the night. So, what? I don't know why he, <laughs> hey, Lynn, how's it going? Come on in, guys. Good morning, Nona. Hey, John, how is it? How are you? John's in the house. Who else we got up in here, guys? Yeah, so today we're going to talk about um, worm castings. Well, hello from Zero to Homestead. How are you? Oh, my goodness. Oh, boy. The boy ate her little vacuum sweeper. <laughs> Yeah, mama not happy. Mama not happy, nobody's happy. Uh, Elisa fell asleep about an hour ago. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, Lynn. Holy cow. Brandon, good morning. All right. Let's see. Who else we got in here? We have uh, Lynn. We have John. Good morning. Nona. From Zero to Homestead, we have Brandon. Awesome. Awesome. Right. So, um, Lynn, I feel for you. So, I have um, some worm castings here that um, Soto Cat Mania sent to us in the mail. And honestly, um, I don't really know a lot about worm castings. So, that's why I am recruiting all of you who do know so that we can educate the chat and um, you guys can type and then I can um, basically relay the information. So what I don't know is how to use them, how they yeah, gather them, hello. and um, what exactly are worm castings. You use bat guano? I know you can eat bat guano too. Lovely. Good morning. Yeah. Hey, DC. Oh, soft hugs. Soft, soft hug, thug hugs. Right back at you, girl. Yeah. So, um, all I know is that she sent us a little note with uh, worm castings, and it says, "Sending a hello and thank you uh, for all the loving support you give back to us here on YouTube." So, wasn't that sweet? No for fertilizer. <laughs> Okay, so all I do know is that you mix it with, um, now you guys may have to correct me because I'm new at worms. I don't have worms. I know a lot of people that do um, have worms and um, I'd really like to get more education on worm castings and worms myself. So I thought this would be a great chance for, um, for us to kind of learn together today. So she sent these to me, and basically she said, before you use them, you need to let them breathe. 
Why? I don't know. I do not know. But I know that you, um, when DC says, okay, the third stream, I've seen you in this morning. Me? Oh, talking about JJ's talking to DC. <laughs> DC says, only sweet people like Paula gets super soft thug hugs. Oh. Oh, DC, I just love you. You're so sweet to me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Lynn says, I know you can keep worms in a bin and compost your food. Yep. And that's how um, Zia Waste does it. Tiffany, if you guys don't know Tiffany, um, I know Soto Cat Mania, they do worms. Um, Grant McIntosh does worms. Uh, the Crazy Worm Lady. Who else? I mean, there's tons of people that are getting ready to start uh, worm castings. So, yeah. So, all I do know is that you take the worm castings, and I don't know how much. I would say, I don't know, maybe a cup or two and mix it with your soil. I don't think you plant directly in it because I think it's too concentrated. Um, so if anybody knows any information, please type so that we can um, share that information. Because I honestly, I am learning um, along the way too. Some um, things been thinking about doing for when we buy the property. And I'd really like um, to be educated, you know, because education is power. And if they're gonna help my plants grow, I'm all for it, right guys? Yeah. Good news. Six away from 1.4K. Yay! Awesome. Good job, DC. Yeah, um, actually, Tiffany says she keeps her worms in her living room. Um, there's no smell, uh, no nothing. She keeps them right in the living room and you don't hear them. It's just silent. <laughs> so, yeah. MBA, yeah, MBA does worms too. Yeah, may, may, maybe when he comes in here, um, he can shed some, share some of that knowledge too. That would be wonderful because I am dying to learn how to use these babies, you know? I don't know if you use a little bit, if you use a lot. So um, I'm hoping that through education, you guys can help me as well. Chrissy, good morning. How are you? Brandon says, you can't give uh, citrus foods to the worms. Oh, no. Okay. See, now I did not know that. Cannot give citrus. Okay. Uh, what else we got? Use the waste to make teas, um, I think, to fertilize. Yes. Um, Tiffany does. It's called a uh, uh, poo tea. <laughs> That's what I call it. It's basically worm tea. I call it poo tea because <laughs> it's... It's, um, it's the castings. You soak them and boil them in, um, I don't think you boil them though. I think you just kind of bubble it maybe. I'm not really sure. So we, we actually need a better expert in here. Uh, Lynn says, congratulations to DC. Yeah. How's Chrissy doing? Food forest permaculture. Good morning. Says grow a food forest and all the worms will show up as, <laughs> and hello. <laughs> awesome. Oh, I'm doing good. I'm doing good this morning. Um, DC says give worms to polished chickens to fatten them up. <laughs> Time for dinner. <laughs> oh boy. Oh shoot. Eric Garcia. Good morning. Come on in. Come on in brother. Bum tea, right? Poo tea. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, uh, gosh. Chrissy says, happy to hear it. So, yeah, I'm really excited to um, get some of these suckers. Uh, yeah. So, you can kind of see that um, hers, there's um, also potting soil mixed in this. So, I'm not sure if she, it's already mixed and you just do that. But I wish she was in here, so. But yeah, we're definitely going to give her uh, the credit for sending me these um, worm castings. And I'm really ex excited, you know, to use it. And no, no eating pets, <laughs> right? Oh boy. Bum tea. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, shoot, you guys. You guys crack me up. Yes. So I do know there are many varieties of worms. And um, 
there's like the red, the smaller red ones. There's the bigger African ones. Um, they're kind of fat and juicier. Um, and there's some, I think some white ones. Yeah, it says, let breathe upon arrival. Yeah. So, um, and I know that you can basically give them all your household scraps. Uh, they will um, compost newspapers, any kind of like toilet paper roll. Uh, yeah. And um, I'm not really sure how you make the bedding, but I know that. Um, and there's like a food kind of um, food station that you can make for them that you can pack in like a container and they will go right on in through that sucker and uh they feed that's how they feed yeah uh dc says i have slaughtered a chicken before they was raised for eating oh yeah yeah me too i live grew up on farms for sure yep kind of the way of life now um these girls when they stop laying that is pretty much what will happen to them. You have to get a new brood um, because after it's usually a couple years, but mine are going on three years and they're still laying. So as long as they're laying, it's worth the money. But once they stop laying and they're basically just eating food, you know, and not producing anything for what, because they're working girls really, you know, they, uh, they give us eggs and, uh, you know, we feed them. <laughs> it's kind of a trade-off, right? So, yeah. I take it your chickens are only for eggs. Yeah, only for eggs. Yep. So, how is everybody doing on this fine? Guess what, guys? It's hump day. What? Hump day. I forgot. I forgot it was Wednesday, guys. Happy Worm Casting Wednesday. Shoot, new title. It's sick. Deuces. Right? Lynn says, I looked into a plan that had layers for a worm box. That sounds really fun. You know, the more I kind of like am thinking about it, it kind of sounds really cool. I just have to get over the slimy part. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, so we shall see. But um, the more I learn, the more I really like it, you know, it's different and um, hey, it makes sure you get rid of waste and it gives you stuff to help grow your vegetables and stuff better. So it's a, like a win-win situation, really. Oh no, DC says she's still, still sick. Food Forest Permaculture says dig a trench two foot wide and two feet deep and 15 feet long with um, food waste and manure unwanted bad neighbors also <laughs> so <laughs> known as zombies cover with lime and cover with mulch like leaves and wood chips oh boy right happy worm wednesday for a worm nursery from zero to home says says i mix mine with sand and peat moss for seed starter mix that's a good idea. Yeah. So what is the um, worm casting to potting soil or um, is there a ratio? Is it like one part worm casting, two part? Yeah, red wigglers. That's it. There you go, Br uh, Brandon. Yeah, red wigglers. That's right. So is it like one part, two part? Well, hey, Finley, how are you? And left, oh, thank you so much for the thumbs up. I really appreciate that. So today what we're talking about is worm castings. Yeah, Soto Cat Mania um, sent us some worm castings along with a package. And um, I'm just trying to get some information. I don't really know a lot about worms. I don't have them. So um, I am calling on all of my peeps to give me information on how to use it. Now, um, red wigglers. Oh, Brandon does um, red red wigglers and African night crawlers. I think that's what Grant McIntosh uh, uses too. So that is awesome. Yeah. So DC says, I learned from Grant, a worm has a mouth. 
Very wicked tiny though, right? <laughs> uh, from zero to home said says I do one to three part. So it's one third castings, one third sand, and one third me uh, peat moss. That's what she uses. So cool, right? Yeah, I have really sandy soil here, so I might want to do maybe like something like. Because I really kind of want to incorporate like wood chips or, you know, that kind of thing in the garden to help hold uh, moisture. And when those break down, they make really good soil, too. And you're putting a lot of nutrients that way back into the soil, too. So for sure. Have a great day, Earthlings. Oh, thank you for Food Forest per hey, Permaculture. Thanks for stopping in. I really appreciate it. Disney, good morning. How's Disney doing? Oh, so good to see you. Haven't been to bed yet? Oh, gosh, Finley. Oh, no, Finley. Oh, Finley, uh, thank you so much the other day um, for my very first uh, super chat. I really appreciated that. I was hoping to see you again. Thank you so much. Disney World Adventures says, hey, J uh, John. Lynn says, I'm in bed. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, oh. Oh, You're getting way too sassy. Yeah, you're getting way too sassy, buddy. Where's your ball at? Huh? Where's your ball? Oh, where's your ball? Go get your ball. Where is it? Here. Here, get it. Oh, is your hold on? I see what he wants. Oh gosh, hold on one second, guys. Uh, yeah, go get it. <laughs> uh, talking to mama. Who's talking to mama? Yeah, oh, him, the boy. Yeah, he wants to play fetch, but he wants to play fetch with these really nasty ones. He gets them all soggy and everything. Gross. Mama Q! Oh, good morning, my YouTube family. Good morning. Let go. Let go, Mama. Throw it. Let go, boy. Let go. <laughs> he doesn't like... He doesn't understand the concept of letting go yet, so... Disney says, good morning, Lynn. DC. Paula, I have a fingernail threatening... Uh-oh. We're gonna break off? Oh, boy. Did someone call for Mama? Oh, yeah. Come here. Here. I'll fr Mama, throw this. Go get it. Go get it. God, he's so nasty. <laughs> Quit. She don't want to play with you. Come on. Go get it. Gosh. Dang it. <laughs> John saying hello, Mama Q. All right. Give it to Mama. Give it to Mama. Let go. Let go. No, I'm not. I'm not playing tug of war. My family garden would love this topic. Yes, I'm waiting for some of um, the uh, the worm growers to come in. So we shall see, right, guys? Guys, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button for me too. I greatly appreciate it. For sure. <laughs> Did you get some sleep, John? She's asking. Good morning, Yankee. How are you? Come on in. So today's topic is worm castings. And I have elicited your guys' help because they were sent to me. I don't really know a lot about them. Um, Soto Cat Mania sent these to me. So I need a lot of expert advice on how to use them. What's what's the greatest mix and that kind of stuff. So yeah, I heard that a pound of well no hold on one pound of worms can eat what was it ten pounds of waste? Is it five pounds of waste? I can't remember. Shoot, it <laughs> I lost the thought. I think it's one pound of worms can eat. 10 pounds of waste. I think it's that ratio or something. I don't know. I have to look it up, but yeah. <laughs> D 
DC says, I'm just a chat stream thug. I ain't no worm grower. <laughs> yeah, but when uh, when you decide to plant some plants, you this might um, help you out. If you have bad soil, like I do. I have really sandy soil. <laughs> John did a shout out to uh, E-Waste Mike. Hey, baby. Oh, oh. Awesome. <coughs> oh. <coughs> you <laughs> naughty. Oh my goodness. I gotta find something to throw at him. I mean, so he'll go so he'll go through go fetch. We have heavy clay. It's like cement. Oh, I bet you have trouble with drainage, right? Yeah. It gets kinda Ah. Rah, rah. Brandon says, I use peat moss and manure to start my new worm bins. I sell worms for the fishing industry. Oh, man, that is so cool. Yeah, Brandon, that's that's exciting. <coughs> Stop. Now, that's my ear. I'm already half deaf. Jesus. Go get it. Man, that's like ringing. Oh. It like tickled all in there because it was so high pitched. Oh. John says, I'm getting there, Mama. Mama Q says, he is a shout-out uh, pro. Ain't, ain't you, JJ? Oh, gosh. Yankee living. My best advice to you on worm castings is worms do not use biodegradable toilet paper. Oh, so you're going to have to sift all that toilet paper out. Ooh. Really? Hmm. I don't have any, so thank God. <laughs> Shoo. Really? They don't eat biodegrade. There must be something in it that they can't digest. That's crazy. John says, DC, that's awesome. Bam. Yankee says, laughing my butt, butt off. <laughs> DJ3, good morning. Come on in, guys. Mm. Uh-oh, DC, what are you saying? DC said, um, if I hit 1.4K in Polish chat stream, I will post her channel in my community on my <laughs> channel. Oh, go. No, naughty. Go on. Go. Take your bone and get. God, that hurts. Whoo. Oh. Oh my goodness. Guys, we need to get um we need to get DC some <coughs> some friends. Whoo. Mm, man, that hurts. How's DJ3 doing today? Good, I hope. Yankee uh I didn't say eat. <laughs> I said they didn't use toilet paper, biodegradable toilet paper. Am I supposed to be a joke? <laughs> no. Ew. God, he's so gross. I don't get it. If they don't eat biodegradable to toilet paper... Oh, they didn't use toilet paper. Oh, boy. That boy just, like, messed up my brain, I swear. He just pierced it, like, for sure. I'm, I apologize. It's got me all sorts of messed up. Mama Q says, I'm so excited to get outside this weekend. It's supposed to be 60s. Want to get flower beds and gardens made up. Our first planting season in this home. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Yankee Living says, Grr, my voice recognition is not working. Well, <laughs> very well. I'm doing this from bed. <laughs> oh, boy. Stacy, how's it going? Good morning. So, 
for those of you just coming in. Um, <coughs> Soto Cat Mania, right, Summer Slumber Party, sent me some worm castings. So um, I don't know a lot about worms, but I am soliciting you guys for help. I need you guys to teach me knowledge about how to use them and what exactly, like, how do you collect them is kind of my uh, my real question, you know? You just, like, we did talk about those little, like, castle-looking things um, in the ground at dusk. That I guess they said that's poo. You just pick those up. Yeah. Looks like beef jerky. <laughs> I'm sure it does not taste like beef jerky. <laughs> I got Chex Mix. I love Chex Mix. Slumber party. Woo. Be right back. Dropping um, kids off at school. Okay. I, yeah, I bet that does not taste like <laughs> beef jerky. Oh, my gosh. DC said, help Paula get her channel posted on my community on my channel. Yeah. We need to get DC um, five more um, friends, guys. Five more friends. Oh, show. Okay, JJ. I'll see you later as always. JJ leaving? He going to bed? Oh, yeah. He's got to drop the kids off. Got to drop the kids off at the poo. No, not at the pool. Yankee Living says, Howdy, Lynn. How is Lil E? We left questions for you. Yeah, I got I got some questions, too. I just love it. Isn't it just great? Yankee Living. I just I just love that little girl. She's so sweet. She's thankfully asleep now. Toy boat, toy boat. Toy boat, toy boat. Toy boat, toy boat. Toy boat. It's boot to toy boot. It's a boot. Oh, wait, no. Is that Canadian? She's got names going. <laughs> That's good because we're going to need a lot of names. Brenda says, you shift out, you sift out the worms and start another bed for them to go in and collect the worm castings. Okay. So how do you know that it's ready is a question I need answered. How do you know that the worms are ready for transport into a new um, a new bed. Sure. Take a screenshot of me. Sure, why not? Canadian who? It uh, it's a boot. It's a boat time. Uh-oh, Stacy said, I drank 21090 brewing beer yesterday. Whoa, the cocoa beware was absolutely amazing. Yeah, oh, that coconut man, no worms, hold up signs. Oh, okay, so they'll let me know when they're ready for a new house. Got it. <laughs> uh... <laughs> You guys got jokes today. Lynn says, um, runners up for the future rooster are from PG Mass cartoon Romeo, Gecko, and Cowboy. Oh, yeah? Okay. <laughs> That's so awesome. I like it. I like Romeo. Uh-huh. Cedar Holly says, good morning, everybody. Coffee, check. Breakfast of last night, leftover. Dinner, check. My AM crew of be breakfast buddies, check. My day is made. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> CD, we're talking about worm castings today. Yes. I need information. Yeah. So, Soto Cat Mania sent me um, some worm castings from her place. And um, I don't really know how to use them. I don't know if you just use half of this and mix it with your soil. Or um, 
is it like a cup, a half a cup, a quarter cup to like, you know, how you just throw it in there and you know what I mean? So I'm trying to um, elicit as much information from you guys as I can. So if anybody knows anything about worm castings, um, I want to be educated today. So yeah. Um, Mama Q says, I can't remember, Paula, what store did you get the materials for your raised bed garden? I want to try. And Romeo is the villain KK. <laughs> Loves PJ Masks. Um, you get them the blocks from Home Depot. Yep, it's a Home Depot product exclusive. Yep. Stacy says, I've never gotten worm castings that way, so I really don't know how to how they use their worm castings. I just go ahead and sprinkle them in my container or in compost pile. Mix them with your soil. Use it all. Okay. See, there you go. That's Barka, good morning. Stacy said, you only need a little bit. You can pre-mix a big batch of soil and add a little cup of it to the batch. Or you can sprinkle a little bit into your containers with some soil thrown in there. Oh, cool. Okay. Or put a scoop in the bottom of each transplant hole. Got it. DC says, I need new earbuds. Mine died. Oh, no. Disney. It's off to work. Have a magical day, everyone. See you real soon. Oh, thank you for stopping by, guys. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up button, guys. I would greatly appreciate it. <laughs> hey, Tuxedo Heart says, what's a ring worm? Never had one, but... I don't know what it is. So a ringworm is a, it's basically a parasite that can get it through your skin, through the bottom of your feet and your hands. And it migrates under, just underneath the skin and will leave a red ring, hence the name ringworm. Yeah. Yep. And it's, you're it's basically feeding off of you. 11 like oh thank you thank you so much guys small scoop one tablespoon per hole okay got it from a cat uh you can get anywhere on your body right yeah you can get it anywhere yeah um i've seen people have them in their hands on the back of their hands and it's just basically a round red ring yeah Ziri, how are you? Come on in. Oh, we're going fishing? <laughs> Not today, but I soon, hopefully. Yeah, the weather is still cold. It's only like it's only like 20, 28 degrees. This is 37. 37? Oh. Yes. Earlier it was 27, so it's warmed up a okay. little bit. I got Vicks everywhere. Probably places it should be but yeah. A ringworm is a man that is a super jerk <laughs> wrapped around your finger. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Uh, Tattooed Heart says, how do you get a ringworm? And how do you proven that? How do you proven that? Keep that from happening? Um. <sighs> I wear shoes, gloves when you're playing in dirt. Yeah. Wear gloves and shoes. Yeah. Standing water and bacteria. Yeah. Get it in soil, feces. Uh, I don't know, all kinds of stuff. So, yeah. How do you get it? It just... It gets through your your skin, basically. It call, crawls through your skin cell, your pores, and gets in your in your body that way. It's very contact contagious. Yes, yes. Tenactin usually will get rid of it. Wow, CD says gonna get close to sixty there today. Holy crap! South Rooted, good morning. Come on in. 
safe on them worms now. <laughs> right. Oh boy. Mama Q says, it, I'm just going to rewatch your video. LOL will answer all the questions. What does a ringworm look like? You can't see it. You have to have a microscope. Yeah. Because it's very, very small. Yeah. It's round. I know that. Yep. Yeah, you can't see it with the naked eye. Uh-uh. No. Well, in the microscope, yeah, it looks like it's just round. Yeah, it itches too because basically what it's doing is it's eating underneath your skin while it moves. Yeah, it makes red wings. Rings. <laughs> yes. Oh, CD says, but rainy, so then down to 47 tomorrow. There she is. Oh, my gosh. Organic worm casting by Soto. Yes, we're talking about your worm castings. Yes. So I got these in the mail for, from Soto Cat Mania, and um, I wanted to share her knowledge with you guys. And um, basically... We are going to learn. No, I didn't open it yet. So we are going to learn together um, how to use them, how to gather, prepare. So, yeah, and she is in here right now. But so I have scissors. Do you want me to open them now and let them breathe? Or should I wait until... Stop now until I get my um, my raised bed. Do it now? Yes. Okay. So she said to open it and let it breathe. Okay. I'm going to open it and let it breathe. There we go. Okay. So there we go we're opening it and then it says open now and keep moist with open air okay so <clears throat> make humic acid with it no i don't i don't want to smell it is it going to stink i don't want to <laughs> so my question is, Texas Rider, so how do you use it in your gardens? Do you just use a little bit? Uh, how's Texas doing? Smell it and tell me what you think. It's, it smells like... Cooked asparagus, actually. D90, what's a happening? <laughs> DC says, hello. <laughs> this kind of smells like asparagus, really. GMD, what does that mean? Good morning. Oh, D. Got it. <laughs> awesome. I won't be eating any asparagus again. <laughs> oh, gosh. So, Soto, my next question is, so how do we use this um, in our plants or in our soil? That's my next question. Those will be so great for your garden. Yeah, I know. I can't wait. I got to get my, got to get my friend to bring me some dirt so I can get my bed in. Mm-hmm. It just kind of smells like vegetable. Really. It says, do you have an air pump or air stones? No. I don't even know what that is. Well, now, I'm done with asparagus forever. <laughs> you guys. Oh, geez. I can smell it from sitting right here. It does. It kind of smells like asparagus. It's got that earthy smell, but you can tell it smells like um, green, like matter, organic matter. DC GMO. <laughs> Good morning. 
maybe say it smells grassy. Ah, yes. Yes, it does smell a little, yeah. Seeds will sprout with it. Oh, cool. So how much do I use? Do I just use a little bit? Is that how we do it before I lose a favorite vegetable? Right. <laughs> well, hey, Easton, how are you? Air pump and air stones. Nope. How's Easton doing this morning? Yeah, so these are really these are really cool, guys. I mean, who would have thought about using worms poo, worms poo to make everything grow, right? Elite Fitness, how are you? Hello, everyone. Have a blessed and successful week. God, what? What, Lynn? Air stones are used in aquariums. So you can't do humic acid compost tea with it uh, and would go further. Yeah, if, if I had all that stuff, I could do it. I just want to know, like, how do I use it for my plants? Do I use, like, a teaspoon? So, like, say I have a plant up here. Now, do I just put, like, a little bit, sprinkle it on top, mix it with soil, and then put it on top of the soil? I answered your question, who would? Who would what? By Soto, she needs volume measure. I suggested one tablespoon per plant hole. Yeah, is that correct? I have so many worms in my compost bin. They really love it in there. They make so many castings. Who would? Yankee said, uh, yep, the worms have been fertilizing the world war years world war years pre-mix a batch and add some in voila that easy okay use for your seeds in a plastic bag only one plant will benefit if you use potting soil very nice Exactly the information that I needed, guys. Nia, how are you? Come on in. Oh, thanks for the big like, guys. Thanks for hitting the thumbs up, guys. I really appreciate it. Yankee Living says, well, you can always make up some uh, warm casting tea for years. Lynn said... <laughs> You said, who would think worm poop would be good for plants? Oh, God. You're right. Yeah, exactly. Carol, how do regular gardeners use it? Organic worm castings by Soto. I don't think she wants to. Yeah, I don't want to start a worm bed. I just want to know how I use it. So um, when you guys gather it, um, how do you use it in your plants and does it make a big batch or a little batch or, I mean, how concentrated is it is kind of, um, and how do you know when to start a new worm like bin or bed kind of thing? Emergency. Good morning. Yeah. Worm. Look, Thug the cat. <laughs> I'm going to rename her that. What's up, Thug? What's up, Thug? Nia, 421, I'm here. Oh, emergency, we're doing really good. We're doing great. Yeah. DC says, oh, well. <laughs> Nia, most of us are in the States. Where are you? I think she's in, um, I wanted to say Thailand, but that I'm that might not be right. 
I'm two away from 2120. Holy crap. Oh, India. Shoot, I was way off. What's up, Thug? From India. So is it is it nighttime in India? Is it like eight o'clock, nine o'clock at night? Wow, emergency, you're hitting it good. Look at that number. Yeah, that's awesome. DC, emergency vehicles, trains, aircraft. I'm six away from 1.4K. Hey, Animal Papa. I like it when you call me Animal Papa. Throw your hands in the air. Hey, listen, Thug, we need to talk. You're cramping my style. Like 23. Oh, how is everybody doing really good today? Yeah, we're talking about worm castings. And um, we have a lot of um, a lot of YouTubers in here that actually uh, keep worms. They, they grow them and then they harvest their uh, castings. It's called poo. <laughs> D90 says, yeah, animal papa. <laughs> Right, waste products. <laughs> Say it cleaner. Waste product, right? What the heck? <laughs> He's already snoring? Sheesh, that was fast. That was way fast, right? Whoop, whoop. The showstopper, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Drop the mic. <laughs> yep. Grassy waste product. There you go. Organic, organic waste product. <clears throat> so um, Soto says, have fun with it and enjoy. Sprinkle a generous amount on your favorite plant or plants. One quarter cup and sprinkle over your soil and water lightly. I'm sure your plants will enjoy it. Spread it around. Awesome. P. Yeah, worm poo. We got worm poo today. Yeah, Soto sent me these um, when she sent Alicia her package. I just opened them up so that they can breathe. And um, we are talking about how to use them. Soto is actually in here so she can give us um, tips and tricks on how to use it, which is great information for anybody who is thinking about starting worms or um, harvesting uh, worm castings. If you get worm castings from a friend or if you buy it, how to use it, it's great information. For sure. And I'm so glad uh, Soto is in here today. Yes. <laughs> Centipede poo. Hi, Papa. P saying, hey, Papa. Listen, thug, you got to get down. Thank you. Nope. Uh, CD says, I put extra from the store in my plants. That needed a boost. Very nice. Thank you, Paula. Oh, no. Thank you, Soto. Thank you. Thanks for sending me that and then um, giving me knowledge on how to use them so that if anybody else is thinking about starting worms, Farmall, what's up? No worm emoji? <laughs> we'll take that. Farmall, boom, he says. <laughs> yeah, so... I thought this would be a great way to um, share what was given to me from uh, Soto Cat Mania. And um, then we could all learn together on how to use it. And um, oh, thank you, Farmall. Oh, man. He just dropped a deuce as he says, boom. <laughs> awesome. I don't do it as good as he does, but yeah. Listen, thug, you got to go. Get. Go. Awesome. Thank you so much, Farmall. <laughs> oh, man. Caterpillar or the snake? We'll go Caterpillar. <laughs> Farmall's got to go get some coffee. Soto says, Cedaholic, when I get a chance, I'll send you some too. You know how to use it. Exactly. And good morning. Laugh of my yo off, right? <laughs> it's funny. Oh, shoot. 
Nia says, hello, Anne. Lynn. Anne says, hi to Stacy. Tattoo says, wish I could donate to you. Glad to donate you 100 bucks if I get rich. All right. When you get rich, buddy. <laughs> Thank you so much, Farm All. Oh, that's sweet. Tammy. All right. Good morning, Tammy. Come on in. Holy mackerel. DC says, just living seriously. Thug is the cat's new name. Cool. Now, when, <laughs> when you get a cat hug, it's coming from me, right? She might be a little confused for a while, but she's kind of like a thug. Look at her. Texas Rider saying, hello, Tammy. Saw that frog, frog punch you sent Lizzie. Woo. Cool. I love crafty stuff. So does Alicia. She knows how to use them. I just think they're all cool. <clears throat> I know uh, yours is way better than store-bought, right? Yeah, I can't wait to use mine. I'm starting some another flat of seeds, and I am definitely going to, to do a uh, kind of like a tutorial on... Um, using the worm castings in my next flat of seeds that I start. So yeah, it's going to be amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know Mama Q, it's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, right, Soto, 100% my friend at Cedaholic Gardens. That's so sweet. In British accent, I want some tea and some biscuit. Um, I want to spot a tea with some biscuits. How's that? <laughs> CD says, uh, wave at the shaman. Found my clothespins. I had misplaced it. Uh-oh. Oh, Nia, thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Yes. Animal Papa, me too, me too. <laughs> Well, now I have that recording of you saying it, <laughs> right? Hey, I'm game. I, you know, it's all it's all in good fun, guys, right? It's all in good fun. <laughs> Penelope says, I'm so excited about my tag from Stacy. What? 28 likes. Awesome. Yeah, good job, guys. Mama Q, rest in peace for your cat. So sorry. We love our pets. They are family. Yes, me too. I don't know what I'd do without all my babies. Even though Thug down here is licking her foot. <laughs> she don't look very thuggish. Had to get her a bandana or something. For sure. Mama Q said, Ari's ready to look this weekend for a new cat because it's so odd for her uh, without one. So that's what we're going to do, though it will be hard. Oh, yeah. You fall in love with another baby for sure. Ha <laughs> ha, thug cat. <laughs> right, right, John. Yeah, so we're we're all definitely uh um yeah, he's he's snoring. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, Soto, he snores up a storm. So we are definitely all animal lovers here. That's awesome. I'll send you one a prison orange. Oh, okay. Yeah, she definitely needs something because she ain't looking like much bug <laughs> right now. Love your snoring dog. Thank you. Thank you so much. Mama Q says, yeah, it's been a hard week. Hit me harder than expected. It always does. You know, you love them. You, you just can't help it. Stopped and talked to the chicken lady yesterday. Whoa, chicken lady. Woo. Man, he's, did you guys hear that? Shoot. He is like snoring up. Yeah. Snoring a lot. 
Holy cow. For sure. Tattoo says, I'd rather... Um, yeah, it's been a hard... Wait, whoa. Oh, message retracted. She's going to get our little one soon. Very nice. Cole, good morning. How's Derek doing? Oh, awesome. You just hit 2K. What? Woo! Did you... Was your goal by April or was it March? I can't remember. So did you hit the goal or were you just a tad bit behind? DC says, anything I send you, Paula, will be for the thug. Thug the cat in you. Aw. That would be so sweet. <laughs> I would. I'm putting it on her if you do. Got the itchy thug. She's looking at me like, what'd you call me? She's going to put me in a choke hold. Yeah, she is. Look at her. Tuxedo heart says, or tattooed heart says, in a British accent, say, I'd rather have a cotton cat than a dog. I'd, I don't know if I can. I'd rather have a cat. I can't. A cat than a dog. Than a dog. A cat than a I can't say that one. That one. That's not even. Phew. Oh, DC says, congratulations, Cole. I started working on other things, so it, I slowed down. Yeah. Second time. P saying, hi, CD, for the second time. Tammy says, we had a Marmon come in and wipe out, oh, no, one of our loud, large um, full barns. Oh, no. Man, shoot. Sonia, good morning. I have a dog as well as two guinea pigs. Oh, cool. I have my giveaway going on for the next two weeks. What you giving away, Derek? DC says, I'm a cat lover, not a dog lover. Sandy, good morning. Tammy says, at Just Living, moving up in the world, have a dollar sign in the box. Yeah, it got monetized. Yep. I got monetized the 28th, actually. Yeah, 28th. Yeah, uh, Farmall Fanatic dropped me a $2 super chat. Yeah, so sweet of him. How's Sandy doing? Is the sun coming up? Uh, yes. Can you see it in the living room? A little bit, maybe? Shadow? Sounds great. That will be lucky and happy winner. <clears throat> Where I live, we have a building cat. Very nice. Cole says, well, a lot of things are coming um, from members of the outdoor society. So not even I know, oh, wow, what it's going to be in the giveaway. Wow. So how do you join your giveaway? What do you have to do? Wow, five or ten people giving stuff? That's awesome. Heck yeah, man. Yeah, how do you join? How do you participate? <laughs> Tattooed Heart says, I hate it when the sun comes up. I always have... Oh my God, he's snoring. <laughs> I have to use my blackout curtains. Yeah, we have blackout curtains in the bedroom because we work third shift. The rules are in my community tab and in the Facebook group, Coal Outdoors. Awesome. There you go, guys. You heard it from me. Um, Coal Outdoors is having a huge giveaway. So the rules are in his community tab and in the Facebook group, uh, Coal Outdoors. Yeah. So you want to get in on it, go check him out. Yep. Yep. And if you don't uh, have them, like, subscribe, subscribe, and leave a comment for sure. Oh, no, weasels and chicken. Yeah, they don't mix for sure. Volclam, full advert view. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you. How are you doing? 
So good to see you here. Yeah, so good. D90 says, hee hee, the cell phone I left in the room was a campaign guest and my parents met because I am lazy to discuss politics. Oh boy. Oh my goodness. Volclam says, doing good. That's good. Everybody's saying, hey. Rochelle. Rochelle, how are you? Yeah, welcome. Guys, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button for me too. It's awesome. Thank you so much. <clears throat> Angela Critters, good morning. Yeah, there's one of my new friends, guys. Go check them out. Go check out Rochelle Nikita. Go check out Angela Critters. Yeah, make them feel welcome, guys, for sure. Bo Clam, good to see you too. I love that uh, two yoker of yours. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. That sucker was big. I mean, it was huge egg. Yeah, it was awesome though. I haven't gotten a double yoker since they started laying um, when they when I first got them. So it was very nice surprise. Oh wow, Tammy, I had no idea. Soto says, cold outdoors, keep up the great things you're doing. Yes, for sure. Yes, he uh, has helped many, many uh, creators. That's for sure. Um, Tammy says, cedaholic, no, they don't. They're cruel, wasteful creatures. They literally bite their necks and drain the blood. Wow. They don't even eat them? Wow. That's crazy. Rochelle says, I'm doing... Uh, well, thank you. How are you doing? I'm doing wonderful, guys. I'm doing so wonderful. I love it when new people come to my chats. It's just, just beautiful. Yes. Oh, Farmall's back, guys. Farmall's back. Today is Catfish Wednesday on Coal Outdoors channel. One question. How do you get 1K subscribers? I currently have 58. Um, you do a lot of networking. Yeah, a lot of networking. Um, go visit um, people's live chats, uh, make new friends. Uh, yeah, yep. Oh, right, Tammy, I'm so sorry. Yeah, I'm so sorry they did that. Cat crap Wednesday? <laughs> Cat crap. No, it's worm poo Wednesday. Come on, get it right. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Cat scratch fever. <laughs> oh, yeah. A lot of networking, guys. A lot of networking. <clears throat> right. Farmall Fanatic, thank you, buddy, for what you do for our community. Yes, he has helped me a ton. Uh, same way with uh, Cole Outdoors, him and Grant. Uh, when I first started, uh, they took me under their wing. And, yeah, awesome, guys. Just love to help out everybody. Nempi, how are you? Come on in. Indiana kid, good morning. Gosh, I haven't seen you in forever. Perry, good morning. I have no idea how to get 1K. <laughs> I'm great. Uh, you get subscribers. That's how you get 1K. P says, okay, I need to go get stuff done today. Uh, bye, y'all. Have a great day. Oh, P, thanks for, thanks for coming. Thank you so much. <clears throat> Yo, Alicia, soft thug hugs. Don't want you to be left out, right? Yeah, she's sick. She's in bed. Yeah, she definitely went to bed, guys. She's not feeling so good. Indiana Kid said, been pretty nice outside in the morning. Oh, oh I missed it. Where'd it go? Where did it go? You should do Thug Thursday. <laughs> I should, shouldn't I? Oh my God, that would be awesome. The words worm of the day. What? Been pretty nice outside. Been doing things before I go to bed. Oh, for sure. I can't wait till it warms up here, man. I'm always outside. I hope everyone has a great day. See you later. Stacy's leaving? Where are you going? You usually stay quite a while. Uh-oh. Something must be up. She's not staying. Angela Critters says, join channels, comment on channels, comment to the channel by stopping and watching the video. Oh, for sure. Yep. She's letting you know how to make friends. Uh, 
Jigging with Jeff. What's a happening? <laughs> RC crazy. Hello. Got a little time before we work. So he stopped being by. Awesome. Yeah. Start meeting others in live chats for sure, guys. Ah, Heritage Farms. Good morning, Just Nation. Lit Just Living Nation, actually. I should make shirts like that. I should. JJ says, I'm great, Farmal. Uh, I love to talk to you when you get a chance. Very nice. Getting a little hot in the UK. Oh boy, starting to heat up, huh? I have a little issue at the very moment. I need to take care of it real quick. Are you going to come back, Stacy? You going to come back, maybe? If you don't, I will see you later. It's okay. I know people get busy. You got stuff to do. Cole says, okay, I will be Cole outdoors again. <laughs> right, at Just Living. Somewhere in time, Tarot, good morning. Oh, my gosh. Good morning. How are you? Come on in, guys. Come on in. Try to come back in a few minutes. Uh, you know I always do. Aw. So how would you like to do that? Do you have Twitter, uh, J and J? Check it out. RC Crazy says, are we talking about worms still? I know a great worm, YouTube. Small Town Southern Housewife. Good morning. Come on in. Animal Papa's still here. Oh, show. Jigging with Jeff saying hello to Cole. Worm YouTube channel. Um, yeah, uh, Crazy Worm Lady. There's a lot of people that actually do worms. Uh, Zia Waste, um, Stacy, uh, Here We Grow Again. She does worms. Yeah, so I got these from Soto. And Soto is um, actually in here. She sent me these in the mail. And um, she's, yeah, we're talking about them. And uh, <clears throat> she's letting me know how to use them <clears throat> on my plants or uh, vegetable gardens. So it's very educational because honestly, I didn't really not know anything about them. So I am getting educated from all of you guys who actually have worms and can share your knowledge with me. So then I can share it with all of you in the chat. So yeah, it's just awesome. And this stuff is like, it's like gold. That's what they call it. They call it black gold, right guys? Is that what it is? Black gold? It's great stuff. Great for your plants. Organic, uh organic matter is your plants will love it lots of wonderful worm flat, uh, farmers out there for sure for sure guys grant mcintosh in here yes black gold animal papa says <laughs> wow lots of wonderful worm farmers for sure yes grant mcintosh has european and african and red red wigglers yeah yeah, I, th I believe that's the three that he has for sure. The castings being aired out life uh, like uncorking a fine bottle of wine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it smells like green stuff. It doesn't smell like poop or, you know. Yeah, it does not smell like uh, animal waste at all. Not at all, guys. I have not made a Facebook account yet, J and J. Oh yeah, guys, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button for me. I would greatly appreciate it for sure. Uh, DC says, I so want to start doing fan mail. You should, you should start doing some fan mail. Uh, Bill, good morning, Bill. Very, very much so. Worm castings, black gold. Yes. And honestly, I did not even know what they were until um, I started hanging out with Grant McIntosh, him and his channel. Yeah, he taught me all kinds of stuff, for sure. Heritage Farms, Texas, nice to meet you, Cole says. <clears throat> Animal Papa says, you can use coffee grounds, uh, rabbit poop, tea grinds, eggshells, yep. Soylent Green. <laughs> right, Lynn? Bill Allotment saying, hi, Farmall. 
Yeah, DC, why not? Why not doing fan mail? And you should send them stickers. Yeah, stickers are hot right now. I got um I got mess hall sticker up here and I got Zia Waste sticker up here. So if anybody has any stickers that they would love to send me, let me know and I will give you my um my email so that I can get you my address. Yeah, I'm gonna put them on my map for sure. <clears throat> yeah, Grant, he's a great guy. He is. He's an all-American kind of kind of feller. Yep. Sweet guy. Do anything for anybody for sure. Uh, Cole says, I am going to miss being able to pick up my computer and <laughs> moving it, I think. But the advantage of a desktop in power outweighs everything, right? Mama Q, sorry. Ari broke down crying again before school. I think we're okay now. Oh, so anyone have plans this weekend? Not yet. Not so far. Just my fish. Good morning. Welcome. <clears throat> Soto says, that's the difference between different uh, worm farmer. We all have our own method. That's for sure. Yeah, everybody uh, has their own. That's that's for sure. We'll see if Elisa, uh, Alicia will give one up. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, stickers are cool, guys. I would love to have anybody who has a sticker. Greatly welcome. So I can put it on my uh, map behind me. Cool Outdoor says, how big is that map for I can get a custom sticker made? <laughs> oh, it's like, I don't know. <laughs> it's like three feet by probably two and a half. I don't know. Well, it's probably four feet by three feet, probably. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, that's a good one. Stacy says, okay, I'm back. Uh, that was a lot quicker than I thought it would be. Cool. Cool. I'm glad you're back. Wayne says, I'm late. Yes, you are, big fella. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Shannon Naylor, good morning. Pest Control, good morning. Come on in, guys. Oh, great to see you guys. For sure. Great to see you guys. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button for me, too. I would greatly appreciate it. Cole says, okay, so I get a 40 by 50 inch sticker made for the map. For sure. <laughs> I would. I'd put it right on there. Don't think I wouldn't. Or I could put it right down here. Fill up this spot right here. <laughs> Just for you. Oh, gosh. You meant Paula? What? What? I think I missed. Uh, yeah, Paula, that will be the size of his sticker, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, pest control is doing good. Very nice. Yeah. Awesome to see you. Yes, for sure. I'd be it'd be for the outdoor statesman, right? You're so happy for me. What did I do? Wow, this chat blew up since I was gone. LOL, that's awesome. What? Angela, drop the deuce, as Farmall would say. Oh, my gosh. Love the energy in here this morning. Oh, thank you so much, Angela. Oh, my God. $2 super chat, guys. Amazing. Thank you so much. <clears throat> Alina, how are you? Good morning. Come on in, Captain Train. Oh, crappy train. <laughs> Sorry. I was like, Captain Train, he's driving now? What? <laughs> right? Oh, uh, Sonia, how's it going? Uh, JJ, how's Nike doing? Animal Papa wants to know. <laughs> uh, we're doing good, Wayne. We're all doing good. There's a couple of places you can do that. Cool. Just living. I will be... Uh, what does it say? It'd be the picture on my website. Oh, the scary one? Oh, and Oh, I don't know about this. No, not the scary one. Anything but the scary one. <laughs> I, I don't do scary very well, guys. Stacy goes, whoop, whoop, you go, girlfriend. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Jigging with Jeff says, hey, JJ. Right, Animal Papa? Why, what happened? What happened to Nike Girl? I know she had... um. If you go to the doctor, is she okay? 
Knowledge. Good morning. What scary picture? <laughs> that one with the clown with the teeth. <laughs> yeah, that one. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> that was scary. It is. It's scary. You need to do a live stream watching a scary. Oh, I don't. I don't know if I could. I don't do. I, don't do, I do not do scary very well, guys. Well, take a look at the website and see what the pick is. Oh, no. Oh, really? Oh, no, Angela. Nike um, has cancer on her nose. Oh, no. A buddy at mine uh, at work, he just had his not, had one right in the middle, right here. And they had to slice his nose in half all the way up and peel it back to get it out. Yeah, on his nose too. Wow, that's crazy. Prayers definitely with her for sure. Stacy saying hello, Sonia. Yes, prayers, right, CD? <clears throat> no, 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 Derek. I'm good. No clown. I will definitely go to your channel. Oh my gosh. Well, go check out her channel. Um, the answers there. We all love you Nike and stand with you yeah part of her nose wow DC had cancer two times force them oh right I'll definitely um, drop her a line for sure JP4 good morning drop her a line and let her know that I'm thinking about her heritage farm says gotta run have a, a good day everyone pay it forward got that right pay it forward guys Yep, lots of prayers for Nike girls, guys. Whew. Yeah, so we were talking about worm castings. Oh, my gosh. I cannot wait to do another flat. I really can't. I cannot wait. Oh, my gosh. This is going to be so good. I'm thinking about doing some more of my gigantic pumpkin seeds in some of those and see which one does do a little experiment and see which one does better. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that for sure. Oh yeah, it's gonna be awesome. Yeah. Oh, Heritage has to go, yep. So we will definitely see Heritage, Heritage uh, Farms later, probably, hopefully tomorrow, yeah. Just living, I'm with you, no, yeah, I know. Something about clowns. They just freak me out, guys. Oh, shush, we we must be very, very, oh, very, very quiet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Animal Papa says, be right back. Oh, my gosh. Stacy says, I can't wait to get a worm bin. For real, I'm starting one ASAP. My sister-in-law has a clown phobia. Yeah. I, yeah. I got mine from um, the movie It and from Poltergeist. What's up, Thug? Don K? Oh. I Don K. It's Don K. <laughs> oh, that's funny. LOL. Um, I have to find the clown again, but I can bring it back. No, no, no. I think we're good. <laughs> Stacy says, I have a lot of worms in my compost, but not a worm bin specifically. Can't wait to have some poo. <laughs> right? Donkey. 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 Mm, it kind of sounds like a weird song, don't it? Donkey. <laughs> Oh, Missy, come on in. How are you? Come on in, friend. Oh, my gosh. Somewhere in time tarot. Uh, Yankee Living says, all right, yard birds are all fed. <laughs> Very nice. Ooh. <clears throat> uh, CD says, I think I will. I think I will in the backyard. Two probably a little worm casting, so so go same Stacy right. 
Uh, Mama Q says she has a clown uh, phobia as well. Somehow, the day my mom passed, the clown stopped bothering me. I don't know. I never understand it. Huh. Lynn says she was driving down the freeway one day, looked in the car next to her. There was a clown driving. She almost crashed her car. Oh my God, she gets terrified. Oh my God, that's crazy. I know, Missy, long time no see. I'm so glad you're here now though. Man, that's awesome. So good to see you for real. Donkey. Yeah, donkey guys, donkey. Everybody say it with me now. Donkey. <laughs> Because probably think I'm crazy. I love clowns, and no, <coughs> it's not because I'm a clown. <coughs> it donkey, donkey. That's about as British as you're gonna get. Stay <laughs> right, Taiwanese. I know, man. I'm having a terrible time with Taiwanese today. Uh, Stacy says organic worm castings by Soto. Um, the only problem is when I mix my compost like I did yesterday, I kind of stab the poor things oh, with my shovel. So I'm making two bins, one to flourish and one to use. Right. Okay, Elena, heading um, over to you. <laughs> what is, I, I'm not a clown kind of person. Uh-uh. Lynn says, you gotta shock the donkey. Shock the donkey. <laughs> what is that one song? Isn't it? Oh, by Peter Gabriel, Shock the Monkey. That's what that just so uh, sounded like. D90 donkey. <laughs> oh, Stacy. Oh, that's funny. Or Soto says three times three pounds. Wow. Uh, I used to be a volunteer firefighter and we would uh, do a spook house. Oh boy. You'd be amazed at the grown men that are scared of clowns. Right. That would be me. I'd be like fetal position. Nope. I'm down. Someone's going to have to carry me out. <laughs> doing two. Oh, CD's going to do two uh, worm bins too. Very nice. Rock the Caspa, right? Vamtress are cool. Clowns are very bad. Oh my gosh. Tammy says, I could never take my children to a circus because of my fear. Last year at the county fair, I sell at a clown the clown came in. Thank goodness my sister was there and she escorted him out of the craft barn fast. Oh, wow. How about a donkey fart? A donkey toot. <laughs> donkey toot. <laughs> yeah, clowns are just, I don't, they're just creepy. Like, it's not even like funny anymore, you know? <clears throat> clowns are weird. <laughs> Soto says, if you check out my videos, I'll show the process how you get the castings in five weeks versus five months. Oh, wow. Everyone is different. I don't use certain food waste. Uh, don't want mites, white worms, or springtails. Oh, very nice. A donkey toot. <laughs> right, Missy? <laughs> oh, shoot. Uh, Alina is saying hello to Summer in Time Tarot. What the heck is a springtail? Springtail. Uh, it's got to be some kind of a mite or something or a worm or something. Donkey. Yeah. There goes the thug cat. <laughs> Soto says toilet paper. Maybe she is making a joke. Springtail. Pin the tail on the donkey. Oh my gosh. I think we've all lost it. Good eye. Good eye. Good eye is Australian. Good eye. Good eye, matey. All I could think was rabbits. 
Stacy says, uh, yes, I get castings in weeks two. That's awesome. I'll have to check it out. That sounds a, a lot like the way I do things. I have a little bit different gardening technique than others. D90 saying, donkey. <laughs> oh, geez. <laughs> oh, hey, Robin, how are you? Come on in. We're, uh, we're, all, <laughs> we're all talking British. Donkey. Say it. Donkey. In a British, in a British accent. Donkey, there's the thug cat right there. <laughs> oh my gosh. I got um, wor worm castings in, in the mail from um, Soto. And she is sh uh, showing and telling me um, how to use it. And I'm sharing that information with the live chat today. For sure. Yeah. Uh, Wayne says, I don't like them, but it's not fear. They just really, really annoy me and I want to punch them. <laughs> like that I have um, hedge punch them in the face. <laughs> oh my gosh. Join the insanity. You are alive this morning. Yes, I am alive. It's Wednesday. What? Wednesday. Mm hmm. Hump day. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so my worm castings, I am going to, when I make my next um, flat of garden plants, <clears throat> um, I'm going to take uh, Soto and um, Cedaholic Gardens advice and put a little tablespoon in each one of the little slots. And I'm going to test and see how much faster they grow than regular planting. Yeah, so I'm really excited. And I have a feeling that they probably will grow um, healthier than just by using regular organic potting soil. So, yeah, that's going to be good. I, I cannot wait. I cannot wait. I love doing like little challenges like that. It keeps me uh, keeps me excited about doing different things, you know. Punch the worm in the <laughs> right. Prostrium. Uh, it right in the face, man, in the face. Crazy stuff. Yeah, clowns are, yeah, it's, yeah, they're scary, but they're annoying, you know, all at the same, all in the same time, for sure. Right, guess what day it is? Hump day. Mm -hmm. Oh, shoot. CD says, I got 20 minutes, say all the good stuff now. Hmm, good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Wonky donkey. <laughs> Wonky donkey? <laughs> what is that? I don't <laughs> A donkey with three legs. Oh, <laughs> wonky donkey. A donkey with three legs. Oh, my gosh. It's all good stuff, guys. It's all good stuff, for sure. Soto said, I mean face. Yeah. It ain't no face. <laughs> yep. Stacy says, I get super pumped about anything to do with growing. I didn't realize how easy till about three years ago. So now I make compost all the time. I kick myself. I didn't know um, earlier because I've been growing six years. Wow. No kidding. Lynn says, I think your dog has sleep apnea. Good day, everyone. I'm afraid my horse and carriage long ago turned into a pumpkin and a donkey. And a donkey. <laughs> oh, man, that's funny. Oh, my God. Pest Control says, I love clowns. Oh, my God. CD says, I've been composting my whole life um, because my grandma did it. Um, nobody in my family really did anything um, cool like that. I mean, my mom's always grown a garden and stuff, but not really um, in depth about it and stuff. I mean, she uses straw to help uh, her tomato plants in case, you know, they get too heavy and that kind of stuff. But nothing cool like uh, like worms or, you know, organic matter or composting. None of that, which I wish, I wish um, she had. Haven't dug into it yet. Woo, fresh compost pile. Oh, my gosh. That's not British. Don't know 
what it sounds like someone crushed your windpipe. <laughs> uh, do clown parents tell their children to stop clowning around? <laughs> maybe. Maybe. <laughs> oh, gosh. Tammy's Home said, Life, I really uh, I enjoy your channel very much, too. Love all the herbs, crafts, and fun. It's fun to visit. Excellent. DC says, growing slow, RC, crazy, six away from 1.4K. If anybody does not have DC, go check out DC. Uh, she's a great friend of mine. Uh, you guys got to uh, gotta go check her out. She's kind of eccentric, but you'll grow to love her. Yep. Awesome. She's a one-of-a-kind kind of gal. Organic Soto says, I throw my grass clippings uh, back onto the lawn. Oh. RC says, not too bad, dangerous criminals. Oh, Farm All Fanatics hit, giving me a thumbs up, guys. Awesome. RC, start digging in. Uh, just be careful not to stab into it. The worms will try to burrow down to the bottom as you scrape fresh layers off the top slowly. Be careful not to harm them, little fellas. Definition of clown pedophile. Smell my flower. <laughs> oh my gosh. OMG. <laughs> That's naughty. Mm hmm. <laughs> oh, CD says, my grandma raised five kids. Uh, so because my grandfather left her, she had to garden and preserve very seriously. Put all five through college solo as well. Awesome. Wow. Yeah, that's kudos to her for sure. Right? Wayne, to the corner. <laughs> DC says, I don't buy a snarl very demonic-like, though. <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh, sheesh. Stacy says, just make sure your compost is ready and broken down before you use it. Yeah. So how long do, does it take for organic matter to break down? Do you have to keep stirring it or does it... Like, is there like a time frame? So say, say I started a compost today. Oh my God. Soto. Soto just dropped a 10 spot. What? Oh my gosh. Soto. Thank you so much. We love you. Just living. You bring the best out in others. Oh, it's my, th my thug cat guys. Oh, Oh, God, she does not want to get... Oh, you go over there for a minute. Thank you so much, uh, Soto. Oh, my God, that's so sweet of you. Thank you so much, right? Farmo says, Soto, boom! <laughs> right? That's how he would do it. Yeah. There's not enough room in the corner. Too many people. Stacy said, composting time all depends. So does it be, depend... Tina, how are you? Come on in. So does it depend on, like, moisture, heat, uh the te air temperature, probably all of that, right? Yeah, so if I started one today, and although it's kind of co on the cooler side, so what do I put in a composting? Let's talk about that. How do I make, if I wanted to start a composting, um, like bin or pile, what would I start it out of? You was getting a thug hug, Paul. I know, right? <laughs> From my thug cat. All the above. Oh, thank you so much, Soto. That is so sweet of you. Yeah, it's getting a thug hug. Um, so my compost pile is three seasons old, actually. I have two. One with the fast breakdown stuff and the other one with slower breakdown stuff. Animal Papa's back. So uh, Mark put ours in a blender to facilitate faster breakdown of organic matters. Um, the worms have their own blender. E. Stacy says, if you go on my composting videos, you'll see uh, the bin I have and what I put in there all comes into play. I can walk you through it though. Yeah, that would be awesome for sure. No meat or animal products, no animal fats. Okay, so all organic matter, basically. Okay, all organic matter. 
Paula, in your community, post a pic of the cat. Oh, I haven't done one of her yet, have I? When I don't eat meat, I feel weak. Yeah. Tina says, am crying. Oh, so they said, then I add old spent soil from around the garden along with um, crushed boiled eggshells, banana peels, coffee grinds. Uh, they are spent through the coffee machine. Oh, cool. Yeah, no meat, Stacy says too. Yeah, only uh, plant matter. Okay. No cooked food either. At least I don't do it. You can have, um, you can eat meat, just don't feed it to your worms. I'll save the pick and dress it up for you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, I let others do the worm raising. Me too. I mean, I, it's very cool. I, I love composting. I love the idea of it, but worms, um, I really, I'm getting interested, but not quite, you know what I mean? Um, I'm just kind of learning information and stuff like that. So yeah. Oh, D90 says, I'm, I'm sorry. I have to go first. Uh, let me back up one second. I have to, I have to go first. Thank you. Love you all. See you later. Oh, thanks for stopping by D90. Appreciate it so much. Thank you. Come back anytime guys, for sure. Um, <clears throat> She says, I use peels from onion skins, potatoes, zucchini, peels like that. Um, fresh though, not cooked. Okay, so no kind of cooked stuff. This is really good information, guys, for anybody who wants to start a composting bin. Um, yeah, you just basically anything that doesn't have meat in it, you can. Uh, so do you guys like put it in a, a bin or did you like make something kind of out of wood? And do you stir it or you just leave it? Is kind of my, my next question. Fish poop is great fertilizer. Yes, fish poop is great fertilizer. The whims, the uh, worms do most of the work, Animal Papa says. <clears throat> uh, fish water is great fertilizer. Yep. Yeah, that is really good information, right, Sonia? And I've been wanting, um, I actually started a little pile, but um, you can't really even tell it's there because I didn't make kind of a, a bin to put it in. I just kind of put it on the ground in a pile. And I was kind of doing some testing to see if it would kind of do, kind of work itself, you know, kind of thing. So we'll see, you know. I use, uh, CD says I use citrus blended, uh, just not a lot and grounds washed with soap, eggshells sparingly. Uh, mine is compost in place on the ground, but putting in a bin this summer. Okay. Yeah. So you can kind of do um, fancy or not so fancy. RC says, I took some of that two foot fencing, made a big circle and throw everything in that on the ground. That, um, that is a really good idea. Yep. And just kind of have a, a round bin. I'm having trouble getting my fish to poop in the garden. <laughs> right, Wayne? Oh my gosh. Animal Papa, the more you turn it, the better. So do you let it sit, say, say, um, you wait. Okay. So you start it, right? And then you're throwing stuff on there and a month goes by. Then you turn it. And then wait another month and throw, you know, throw your stuff on top of that. And then you turn it again. Does that kind of say like every, once a month, maybe? <laughs> Gertie. Okay, you go bye-bye. Do what works for you. Uh, Stacy says, I don't sift mine. I just turn the bin and flip the soil over every two weeks or so. Okay. Um, Soto said, everyone has great advice. I like, uh, visiting a candy store. So many things to try. Exactly. And especially for, for those of us who, um, uh, I mean, I've lived on a farm, uh, did gardens all my life. Um, but I'm ready, I'm ready for the next step. You know what I mean? Um, to do more with, uh, with what I have kind of thing. Cause we're planning on uh, buying some land. So I want to be most efficient with um, 
the greenhouse waste and stuff like that. And I want to be able to reuse it. And this is the perfect type of information that will get me where um, I can just keep using it. You know what I mean? Instead of buying soil or that kind of thing. Especially if we find land and say the soil isn't so great. This is exactly the kinds of things that we can do to uh, to make that happen, right? Keep it moist, not wet. Got it. Every time you add, you want to mix it in. Okay. Yeah, I just um, stored it up once, stir it up once in a while uh, with a pitchfork. Okay, got it. I got a back wax. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Wayne. Uh, Stacy says, then leave it to break down, go back in a few weeks. And so uh, it, you can flip the soil gently, turning it over and mixing it. I find so many worms in mine on the bottom. I'll do a video for you if you want. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, that is really great information, guys. Sounds painful. <laughs> yeah, I'm not waxing my back. No way. No way, guys. <laughs> Cheap, easy uh, soil amending. Exactly. Uh, my way is called easy peasy for a reason. That is all I will say about my worm castings. Right. Yeah. You don't really have to do hardly anything. The, I mean, you what set them up with some organic matter and some, some stuff, some food. And then you just kind of let them, it's kind of set it and forget it kind of thing, right? Yeah. Grass clippings are good. Yeah, definitely nitrogen for sure. Definitely want to put that back in your, um, your organic bin, right? Yeah. Oh gosh. Um, Stacy says, I make mine easy and I don't do well with complicated. I don't do well with complicated things. I get bored with them because it's too, it's too complicated. <laughs> Literally, you know, um, I like stuff that I can do that I actually have fun doing and it, uh, it works for me, you know, kind of thing. I don't want to have to keep working at something and then maybe eventually I'll get something out of it. You know, that's, that's not for me. Don't forget it. You, yeah, well, not really set it and forget it. I mean, you have to feed them, right? Kind of thing. Organic worm casting by Soto. You got that right. Don't forget it. Uh, you're going to love composting. I'm sure I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready to start doing uh, more. CD's leaving. What? Bye guys. Got to go. Happy uh, birthings. Birthings. Poo for everybody. Oh boy. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow morning. <laughs> Hope. You have a great day. And stay out of trouble. Stay out of the corner. Animal Papa says, basically, whatever comes out of the earth can go back in. It's, yeah, for sure. That's true. They can be uh, bad. Crawl out and be dead on the ground. Really? Oh, no. I didn't know they could crawl out. Why don't you just go out and take a dump on the lawn? Job done. <laughs> That's not going to work. No. That's not how it's done. Worm casting is the only time it's okay to throw poop, right? <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> Sonia says, coffee time for me. Oh, yeah. Stacy says, they will eat off of the scraps and things you put in there. Um, they love brown shredded paper. I noticed lately too, LOL, I just started adding a little bit with my food scraps and peels. Mm. So you could like um, shred, shred paper and then put it in there. Then it would already be shredded up. Like if you have a shredder, paper shredder. Right. I know Wayne, he needs to go to the corner. 
nightmare. Yes, you, uh, yes, can let out a terrible smell if, really, if threatened. I had no idea. Wow, need a paper shredder. Yes, they love brown paper. Not too much of one thing, though. Wow, I had no idea they like brown paper bag type. You can uh, shred a little of it up if you want. Okay, DC, we'll be right here. Yeah, so a couple other things that I was kind of um, thinking about doing is is um, water, rainwater collection kind of stuff too, so that um, I can have uh, water readily available for uh, greenhouse and garden outside too. And that would be a great way to save uh, water, you know. So I've been kind of reading up about rainwater collection as well. Stacy says, you always want to add equal nitrogen to your carbon. Just remember that. Animal Papa says, uh, rainwater is the best. Yeah, this is Emmy. Uh, Robin. Hey, Robin wants to see you, big boy. Stacy says, if you add one hand full of grass clipping and three hands of brown leaves. Okay, so that kind of thing. So one handful of this. Hey, big boy. Hey, big boy. If you live by a lake, lake water is even better. I don't live by a lake. That's for sure. Uh, Stacy said, if you add one hand full of kitchen scraps, leave the grass out and add three handfuls of brown. So you want to have green and brown equal parts. Got it. Not equal parts. Ouch. Some states you're not allowed to collect rainwater, which is a bunch of baloney. That, yeah, that is a bunch of baloney. Hey, no chewing on that. Wayne says, uh, Paula, taking a dump on the lawn would make a good video. <laughs> no, it would not get a lot of hits. I'd probably get banned. <laughs> Three to one ratio. Got it, ammo, Papa. I'm going to write that down. Organic. Um... Uh, Three to one ratio. Use a meter. <laughs> hey! Use a meter shows you pH balance, water, uh, moisture, and lighting. pH. Ew. What are you? You're like drooling all over me. Over me. Oh. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Why are you barking? Why are you barking? Why are you barking? Stacy says, kitchen scraps and grass cl clippings are considered your nitrogen. Leaves and brown paper are your carbon material. Right. Ah, I love my pH reader, three in one. So where do you get a pH reader is what I want to know. Keep a ledger for when I start our compost and garden, Paula. Okay, I will. I'm, I'm, I've been, I've been writing notes for, for months, guys, for months. Yeah. Doing, ew. It's got, well, what are you doing, big boy? Home Depot, tractor supply. Okay. Exactly, <coughs> Stacy. And eggshells is your calcium. Soto said, we had a lady um, do that in a rich neighborhood <coughs> and they took video. The police arrested her in the act after she finished of course stop now you need something to chew on hold on a second guys he's being a naughty he's being a naughty brat there you go go get it wow <clears throat> do you guys live in like i know california you can't you cannot collect rainwater, I don't believe. When you collect rainwater, don't keep it in the paper bag. Right, Wayne. Nice tip. <laughs> Got it. Yeah, he's he's is getting big, Amy. 
<laughs> and he's getting in his terrible two, terrible twos, guys. Yeah, he wants a lot of attention all the time. Yeah, Robin, he does. He he needs the attention for sure. Stacy says, I love eggshells for the garden boiled though. <clears throat> I just added some yesterday to my compost with some potato peels, coffee grinds. Um, I'm starting over again because I just used my finished one. Oh, cool. Um, Animal Papa says, I have a house on the lake, so I use five gallon buckets of water. <laughs> yeah, he, Mama Q, he's, he's ornery. Why boiled versus non-boiled? Yeah, why boil them versus non-boil? <laughs> Wayne says, I hope you wash your hands, Stacy. <laughs> Gross. Oh, gosh. <laughs> you guys are awful. Non-boil contains oh, the salmonella. Okay. Got it. Because it's raw. I see. Hunting and stuff with JJ. Mama, stop feeling me with all these uh, people around. Somewhere in time says, sorry, everyone. Since I uh, got on, I kept in interrupted with emergency phone calls. Oh. Robin, did you guys find a, a new house yet? Stacy says, you don't want raw eggs in your compost. At least um, I don't. It causes bacteria, not the good kind. Uh, Mama Q says, haha, JJ, you're a mess. Also, don't tell me what to do. <laughs> oh, boy. If you have, uh, Animal Papa says, if you have rabbits, you can use that poo right away. It doesn't have to age. Oh, wow. Yes, property. Oh, you you're looking for property now. Like bear property, like acreage property, or something with a house on it, or something with no house on it. Yeah, that's really cool that you don't have to age a uh, rabbit. Is it because they are basically organic eaters? Be I think Paula means land. Yes. <laughs> Animal Papa says yes. Yes. I. Oh, we have a lot of dog poo... Too bad that won't work. Right, Robin? <laughs> oh, two acres in the port? What? Yeah, now you're talking. Angela Critter says, Stacy, I never thought about boiling the eggshells. That makes perfect sense. Mr. Rocker. Ha. How are you? Good morning. I'm gonna land in the corner. He's already in the corner, guys. I'm not getting on your nerves yet. Nope, you're not. I love you. Yep, you're funny just the way you are, for sure. <laughs> uh, aren't you at work yet? You still on the train? Back on the train again. He's always on the train. Mr. Rocker says, I'm good. He says, hello to everybody in the chat. I just need the eggs. <laughs> right. Yeah, just need the eggs. <laughs> Better try harder then. You can try. It's not going to work. Nope.
Mama Q says, I was working on channel art for Ruth. Just want to see. I don't know if uh, gonna if she's going to like him. Waiting on her to wake up. Yeah, she is like sleeping in for sure. She must have got wore out yesterday. Choo-choo! Angela Critters dropping some trains. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Just my fish says, I'm already at work, but I'm here on my own today in the office, so I'm slacking off. You dirty dog, you. <laughs> oh, the sun's out, guys. And it looks like it's blue skies. Nothing but blue skies. Slack away, just my fish. <laughs> oh, boy. I love gardening and work poo. Work. Worm poo. <laughs> you guys can't even type today. Oh, my gosh. Uh, yeah. Right, John? I'm sure she will love it. For sure. Uh, Animal Papa says, Rabbit poo is just as good as poultry poop, except it's better you don't have to age it. Yeah. I know. That's awesome. Right. When the cat's away, the mice do play. Or I should say, Wayne just plays. <laughs> right. My brain has left the building for the week. I know it's only Wednesday. It can't leave quite just yet. Oh. Yeah, don't want to leave the building yet. You got like, <laughs> you got two more days. <clears throat> and then it'll be weekend time. So then your brain can just go, <laughs> right? Oh, really? Yeah. I guess, yeah. You didn't think about regular manure um, contains bacteria. But they've been using, like, cow manure and pig manure on, you know, crop fields for, for years and years and years, you know. So, it can't be that half bad, right? Pumpkin patch. Oh, 210 Nane in the house. Come on in. Good morning, y'all. Good morning. Stacy, when you find your brain, <laughs> will you check to see if it's mine is hiding there too? <laughs> oh, you guys. <laughs> you guys are crazy. Uh, absolutely, she said. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, big hello to 21090. Stacy, let him know what you did. Wayne says, uh, I'm getting paid to be on YouTube. That's better than any super chat, <laughs> right? Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Coco Beware was fantastic, she said. I started spring gardening. A video is posted. Sweet. Can't wait to watch it. Animal Papa says, poop is the best. That's what makes the <laughs> the plants nice and green and make it sweet oh gosh okay guys it's been fun i'm heading to work now rc crazy thank you for stopping by i really appreciate it you have an awesome wednesday for sure we'll see you on the next one uh 21090 said hey stacy thanks for the beer review you did yesterday it was awesome yeah sweet yes coconut oh, guys the coconut is, oh, is crazy good. <clears throat> oh, my gosh. RC Crazy says, you too. Awesome. Oh, what? Crazy Chicken Dudes got 303, guys. Oh, my gosh. Yes, congratulations. Yes, over 300. That's awesome, buddy. <clears throat> Stacy said, or 21090 says, I have two Coco Beware bottles left. Oh, oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> Only two left. Oh, my gosh. Stacy says, thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to review and enjoy some home brews. 21090 Brewing. I really appreciate it, and I'm saving the other Coco Beware for a stressful day. 
Yes, awesome. Angela Critter saying, congrats, crazy chicken dude. <laughs> so I just need to brew more. Yes, coconut, please. Coconut, coconut. Oh, oh, coconut, coconut. <laughs> Tammy says, congratulations, uh, William. Hey. Stacy says, oh, no. Uh, got to make more, 21090. <laughs> You'll have to get four pounds of that toasted organic. I know. Oh, my gosh. Angela says, hello, pup. Buddy, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here, man, man. You guys want to see Emmy? Here he comes. Come here, man, man. Come here, big boy. What's the matter? What's the matter? Oh. Oh. Yeah, congratulations for sure. Every milestone is a win, you know? Oh. 21090 says, it was our pleasure, uh, Stacy. And that's why we sent them to you and Paula. Love sharing our beer with our friends. Oh, this is awesome. Come here. Come here. 21090. Exactly, um, Stacy. You probably will brew it sometime in May. Oh, my God. We got to wait till May. No one will play with him. I know. He's usually after my live streams, I take him outside with his ball and we, we play fetch for, you know, 15, 20 minutes and uh check on the girls and don't we yeah check on the girls yeah ouch gave you a hug somewhere in time tarot gave 21090 a hug awesome uh wayne says i hope you all wash your hands when poking around in poo oh no we lick them yep we lick them clean <laughs> we don't <laughs> morning dog lovins Woo! Woo. Woo. Oh, thank you, Animal Papa. Says great stream, Paula. Thank you so much, guys. <laughs> hey. Stacy says, I love drinking it for real. You guys did such a great job. I can't wait for the honey beer. Mike's even look looking forward to that. Maybe May is my uh, stop. No bark. May is my birthday. LOL. Woohoo. Happy birthday, Stacy. Right? <laughs> Poo-poo? Poo-poo is, uh, it's Hawaiian. Yes. I had some when I was in Hawaii, I believe. I think. If it's the poo-poo I'm talking about. What? Uh, she says, no, Wayne. <laughs> That's good protein. Right, Stacy? <laughs> Lick them. Uh, uh, uh. Yep. I bet your dentist let Yeah. <sighs> Love the breath. Oh, my gosh. We'll have to send you uh, a birthday present, Stacy. right? Yeah. Potato chips and dip in American food. <laughs> right. Oh. Ah, Ruth is finally here. Good morning. Oh, my gosh. Snacks. You're right. Oh, my God. Love me some snacks. Angela Critters is laughing. <laughs> Oh, gosh. Guys, don't forget to hit that thumbs up but button for me. I greatly appreciate it. My dogs are barking back at your dog. Oh, no. Oh, boy. What's he got? What you got, big boy? Look at him. He's looking at me like, hey, do you want to play with me? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, says, oh, yeah, 2109. Right. <laughs> Hey, anytime you get free beers and they're that good, oh my gosh, it is, it's crazy. These were really good home brews, like for sure. I couldn't believe how awesome the coconut one was. What? She don't want to play with you either. She's soaking up the sun. Leave her alone. He is showing off with the chat. Yes, he does that often. He's a cameraman for sure. He he just bounces around. I think he just likes people, you know. The dogs want to speak on YouTube, right? Hey, Bubba. Hey. 
that dog's feeling a, a bit rough. <laughs> he might be. Who knows? Oh, he loves getting his back scratched, too. He's starting to build a lot of muscle. So he doesn't have, like, a lot of that excess skin like he had, like, a, a month ago. But for being five months, he's still, like, on the small side from what they're saying. So we, we'll see. I don't know if he'll get any taller or not, but we'll see. Stacy said, um, I ended up drinking the coconut before I went on camera because it, I, <laughs> I was so anxious. What? <laughs> Ruth Ears was burning? Probably. Brooke Chaos! Hello! Come on in! <clears throat> oh, thank you, Animal Papa. Yeah, he's only five months. Yeah. Um, April 18th, he will be six months. Yep. Five month old. Yeah, <laughs> he is uh, Rottweiler and Mastiff mix. Yep. Yeah, I was hoping that he'd get a little... So I'm not good. How big are his paws? Pretty darn big. Yeah. He's actually growing into them a little bit. Like, okay, you see my hand? So his is like on the outside of that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, how is how are you doing, Brooke Chaos? Doing good? Five months old. Yeah, no one. I know. <laughs> then he should get bigger. They saying you should get bigger. <laughs> He's just like, what? <laughs> hey, that's my blanket. Go get your own. I was wondering uh, why I was dragging butt today. It's hump day, <laughs> right? Oh, shoot. That's funny. Uh, 21090 says at organic worm casting by Soto, uh, not at all. In fact, in England, cask beer is served at room temperature. Higher temp temp temperature actually brings out the aroma and flavors of the beer. Yeah. I did not know that. Yeah, I did not know that at all. Oh, Brooke said, uh, just had a few rough moments, but I'm doing better now. Awesome. I'm glad you're here. Yeah. <clears throat> so happy to know. Thank you. Uh, Somewhere in time said, Paula, I give my, my dog's baby carrots as a treat instead of dog bones. Um, all of my dogs that lived till 18 years old never got cataracts in their eyes. Wow. Really? Um. He likes sweet potatoes. He peels. He, I don't think he really is eating them, but, you know. Hey, it's a start. He does eat raw carrots. I gave him some the other day. He ate one, and then he, and then he played with one. <laughs> so I was making a pot roast with potatoes and carrots, and I dropped a piece, and he actually ate it. So then I gave him a little longer piece. Yep, and he ate that. And then... And then I gave him a little bit more and he ended up playing with it all over the house. But he did eat it after he was done. So that's a good thing. Yeah, giving them carrots is good. Angela says, my friend has a bull mastiff. He is huge. His face is larger than a huge pumpkin. I can't wait to watch your boy grow. His, um, I have to use two hands to put his head between my hands and when I hold his head I have to stretch my pinky this way because his head is literally bigger than mine now yeah his head is huge it's crazy <clears throat> yeah <clears throat> me with my girl the loss of my high school best friend oh passing away from cancer but all is good now oh I'm so sorry for your loss yes Animal Papa says, thank you, Stacy. Love your channel, too. Um, have to put some plant stuff on it. Oh, yeah. You'll be able to train him to turn the light off. I would love to train him to turn the light off. Yes, I would. DC says, I am back. I was smelling another crime channel. <laughs> oh, by good stuff. <laughs> good stuff, Paula. Oh, my gosh. Um. Okay, 
Uh, Animal Papa says he comes from two big breeds. Yeah. Yep. And my neighbor has um, a sister of his, and she is so small. She is literally half the size of him right now. And they're born the same day. And they are, are um, exactly five months. And she is literally half, half the size of him and weighs probably a third of what he weighs. Yeah, because his, um, her, her parents, well, owner, I should say, um, can still pick her up and has no problem. We can't even pick him up now. Yeah, cannot even pick him up. He's so heavy. <clears throat> yeah, broken heart, Angela, for sure. Um, Brooke says, thank you guys. You're going to miss, going to miss my friend James. Yeah, I would too. If he was your best friend, you're, yeah, for sure. Maybe she's the runt of her litter. No, I've seen another sister and they're all like that. The boys are big and the girls are all small. Yep. So nice. He has a sister living near him. Yeah. They met, <laughs> they met again for uh, the first time since they were separated at six weeks and uh, they, they were both afraid of each other. <laughs> it was cute. Yeah. It, it was cute. I'm so glad they got to, they got to meet each other though. She was afraid of him. What? 1% battery. Oh no, you did not. Somewhere in time says, I was raised in it's Great Danes growing up as a kid. My father was a judge for the working class in uh, Westminster dog shows. He started the Great Dane Club of Long Island, New York. Oh, awesome. Yeah, that is so cool. For sure. 1% battery, you guys. No way. <laughs> right, Stacy? You just don't know how it happens, but it just, it just sneaks up on us. For sure. Better plug that sucker in. <laughs> speaking of dead, speaking of batteries, it's contagious. Very cool somewhere. Oh no. <laughs> somewhere in time says, uh, Stacy, hi. Oh no, 1%. <laughs> right. My phone's not charging. Uh oh. Uh oh. Phone's not charging. Not good. Not good. Oh my gosh, guys, we hit 50 thumbs up today. Oh, that's awesome. I haven't hit 50 in, a, in quite a while. So, yeah, it stinks like big cow poop. <laughs> what? <laughs> big, big, not little cow poop. It's got to be big, big cow poop, right, guys? <laughs> oh, shoot. Take care, Stacy, before your phone dies, right? Oh, my gosh. Where is he going? Where are you going, Bubba? He probably wants to go out and play. Oh, gosh. Holy mackerel. <laughs> Big, huge cow. Oh, boy. You mean dung? Dung is for poopy. <laughs> Just turn off, vibrate, you'll be fine. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, brother. You guys are silly. All right, guys. I got to uh I got to take the boy out to play a little bit and uh I got to throw the load of laundry. Do you have Twitter yet? No, I don't. I can't get I can't get an account made. I don't know how. I don't can't figure it out. I have to wait some time for somebody smarter to come over. <laughs> To, to create one. So yeah. And show me how to use it. So. All right guys. So I got to go. I got to take the boy out. We're going to play some ball. And then I got to uh, put the clothes in the wash machine into the dryer. I'm on the floor. Hooked, <laughs> hooked, to, the, hooked to the charger. Oh boy. 
<laughs> oh boy. Love you guys too. Oh my gosh, guys. Thanks for coming today. I had an awesome Soto. Thank you so much. Thank you for everything. Thank you for my worm castings. I am going to buy a new flat and I'm going to do some testing on a flat with regular organic uh, potting soil. And then I'm going to do one with my uh, worm castings and we're going to do a growing challenge. So Soto, thank you so much for sending me my worm castings. I really appreciate it. And thank you for all the great information, guys. This is really great stuff. And uh, taking lots of notes lately and learning lots of new stuff. Keep being awesome, friend. Oh, thank you so much, guys. All right, so remember to be kind and love each other.